Hi there, welcome to this video blog. Uh, today's a continuing tour of Prosperity Palace. You know, I uh, realized a long time ago that when you get your head on straight, everything gets easier. And certainly one of the things to help you get your head on straight is understanding the balance of spiritual health in your life. Now, I'm not talking about religion. I'm not a religious man. I do love God and I certainly believe in a higher power. And I believe that as an entrepreneur, it can be a very useful thing for you. Now, if you believe in a higher power, if you believe in God, then this conversation will make complete sense to you. And if you don't believe in God, then it doesn't matter. It's just a fantasy, so it couldn't possibly harm you. Having an open mind, though, is a very powerful, powerful tool for all of us as entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to tour the spiritual room here at Prosperity Palace. Come on in. Amazing grace, how sweet. The sound that saved a wretch like me. Knock and the door shall be opened. That's what I say. Often you've got to figure out how to knock on a door to get it to open. And I also want you to be secure that when a door won't open for you, when an opportunity that you really want badly doesn't come to pass, recognize it may not be an opportunity that would have been in your highest and best purpose or good. This is called the spiritual room because there's two artists in here. Thomas Kincaid, he's been known as the painter of light. And I've got a number of the Thomas Kincaid pieces. They're very beautiful. Kincaid is not only a very spiritual man, he uh, claims Christianity, as you can tell by his work, as his faith. He's also a really smart guy. And even though we're talking about spiritual health, I want you to recognize that it doesn't have to exist separate from your ability to make money. One of the things that I'm certain of is that when you are true to yourself, when you are in your great I am, then you'll start producing at a higher level. Kincaid was smart enough to recognize that while he was painting things he thought were beautiful, he also had to get other people to stop and pay attention to them. If you get a chance to look at a Thomas Kincaid piece, You'll see that down in the corner, usually underneath his signature, there is not only the series number, there's also another number, usually anywhere from two or three all the way up to the mid-twenties. And this particular piece has a number 14. What that means is there are 14 N's, the letter N, somewhere inside of this painting. It could be a ripple in the water, it could be uh, trees crossing at the top, it could be inside the architecture. Your job is to look carefully at the art to find the ends. I've discovered that often, in order for things to appear to make sense to me, I've got to put my full attention on them. And the only way that I can put my full attention on something is to be spiritually sound, meaning nothing's bothering me because I recognize that ultimately this plane isn't going to matter much. It's pretty certain that all of us are going to die one day, and when we do, we're not going to really worry about whether our bills were paid or whether our collection of art was big or our house was huge. Ultimately, we're going to really wonder, did I have joy? Did I bring joy to others? Did I have friends? And that's all that really matters. So this is the spiritual room. Uh, there's a great piece. It's by an artist named Bill Mack. It's called Christ Risen. Uh, again, I'm not much of a fan of religion. I do believe in God, and there's, I have certain beliefs that I hold myself that serve me. I don't ask other people to believe what I believe. I just want them to find what works for them. I think that's a, a good and healthy plan. Uh, whenever you're feeling like there's just too much for you to deal with, when you feel like you'll never pay your bills, when you feel like you just can't go on, I want you to remember this simple phrase, it's, this too shall pass that ultimately most of the things that we thought were life-threatening or horrific weren't. And even the things that aren't so pleasant, we can find them right and we can find the blessing inside of them. So today I want you to ponder, how does spiritual health play into your life? Can you recognize that you're not alone? And can you believe that ultimately everything happens for a purpose and it serves you? You're watching these video blogs in I want to get your mind moving. I want you getting, I want to get you thinking outside of the box so that you can find what you're looking for because it's always in a place you haven't been. I'm Marshall Silver. Tomorrow, another tour in another room here at Prosperity Palace.